Assalamualaikum and welcome back uh, to our new chapter chapter 4 for, for liquid liquid extraction so let us see what we will cover in this uh, chapter so there are three topics first we are going to learn the definitions and cases for using liquid liquid extraction next we are going to calculate a single stage liquid liquid extractions and lastly we are going to perform mass balance calculation for multi-stage counter current flow system okay so this uh, chapter will be covered for two weeks <coughs> for two weeks okay so this is the view of uh, the operations of the liquid liquid extractions and it looks like the same from uh, look like the same uh, with other equipments we we'll have a columns so there will be an additional equipment for the further processing for for example this process and the product produced from the liquid liquid extraction will go to the uh, distillations okay so let us see the definition and its applications of liquid liquid extraction so the process in the liquid extraction or LLE is the transfer of solutes A which is in a mixture with the solutions B or we call it as the diluent or carrier by contact with another insoluble liquid which is your C solvent. So in this case we have three components of A, B and C. Okay, how the process of the separation occurs in the uh, distillations is the transfer is based on the preferential solubility of your solutes A in the liquid uh, C. So, your A must be sol soluble in your solvent C. So, uh, after that, the process will produce two stream results. Uh, which is as uh, which are extracts and also the refinates. So your extract is the solvent rich solutions which contain the desired extracted solutes A. So there will be main, uh, much of A in the extract streams. Uh, on the other hand, your refinate is the residual feed solutions which contains little solutes of A. Okay, so this is the basic principle, uh, principles of the liquid liquid extraction principle on how the separation is occur in the process. So usually your mixtures of A and B are together in a liquid of organic solvents. For example, organic solvents, it will be contact with another solution which, uh, which is the aqueous solvent C which is in this case blue color so we add together these solutions and we require some mechanical uh, x so in this case there is shake or steel of uh, during the process so uh, we allow them to mix together so after several time when they are contacting each other so your solutes a which is in black color at the end will be separated by the B's which is your diluents or carrier so at the end the separation can occur so phase settles and separate with the gravities okay so when liquid liquid extraction is carried out in a test tube or flask the two immiscible phases are shaken together to allow molecules to partitions or dissolve into the preferred solvent phase so this is how they separated uh, between component in a liquid liquid extraction and of course in this process both of the component must be liquids okay so the common production processing using liquid liquid extraction is many so among them is the in the food processing and then the pharmaceutical separation and also the oil purifications all involved of the solid you may look like that the liquid liquid extractions and distillation is the same however uh, even though it looks like the same for example we involve all the liquid components but how the separation occurs in both of the process is different 
For uh, example, liquid liquid absorption depends on the solubility solubilities between the liquid components and produce new solutions, which in turn has to be separated later. So the separation by liquid liquid LLE is based on the solubility. On the other hand, your distillations are depend on the difference in your uh, relative volatility and partial uh, pressure which is also depending on your um, boiling point of substance in addition it also requires heat supply so in this case distillation requires heat supply LLE requires mechanical device for them to be separated so this is an example of the industrial liquid liquid extraction process so each of the component have certain solvent to be used so we can see here there are examples of the in the food processing industry as acid acids and water your vinegar so solvent such as acetic and isopropyl acetic is required Okay, so we also have in the pharmaceutical industry, penicillins and brutes, we using the butyl acetate. Okay, and much more as in the table 4.1. 4 okay, so we see why at certain case, uh, the LLE is preferred than your distillation. Uh, first, um, recovery of heat sensitive material for a material that is very heat sensitive we prefer LLE um, at this condition where low to moderate processing temperature are needed so there will be thermal de decomposition so we need to use the LLE second the separations of mixture which the components have close boiling point so if we have component that it have uh, almost near boiling point so we prefer the liquid uh, the LLE and next is separations of mixture which is relative volatility near to unity and also when there is there is a presence of the azeotropic mixtures or solutions and furthermore in the distillation process it utilizes excessive amount of steam generation so it requires additional energy for the heat so it may incur cost okay lastly um, for your LLE the solvent recovery is easily maintained and energy saving can be realized because we only use the mechanical device to allow them to mix together okay there is more uh, reasons why they are uh, preferred distillation or they are preferred the LLE as given in this table so you can read and relate by your uh, relate if the questions ask you for this information Okay, let us see. Um, in this case, since uh, we know that the separation is occur be, uh, due to the prefer preferential solubilities of solute A to C, solvent is the important criteria to be set. So, uh, among criteria that solvent needs to have is, uh, first, it must have the bigger distribution coefficients because in, uh, we want to separate uh, separate your solute uh, concentration in extract more than your uh, refinite so it, we must make sure that the solutes it solutes is going to uh, mix with uh, C so that there will be large difference between two phases okay next it also uh, need to be uh, soluble for your solute in the solvent as compared to your uh, diluent in the solvent so that's how uh, we can separate your solute from the solvents okay for example if there is significant solubility of solvent in the refinite stream and additional separation is, recover, uh, is required to recover the solvents okay next uh, the ability of the solvent to be recovered it is important 
Purin, the recycle or reuse purpose. Uh, next, the large difference in density between the extract and refinates, um, because it can uh, permit high cap uh, permit. Uh, we would we don't want the it is very large difference between density between extract and refinates because uh, it permits high capacity in equipment. This is especially important for extraction equipment that utilize gravity for separation. Sorry, uh, so for density, there will then there is need for them to have a very large difference in density between these two phases, so that when we are going to separate them later using, uh, for example, separating funnel, so they will they are it is important for them to have a very large difference in density so that we can separate it, these components. Okay, next, uh, the solver must be chemically stable and inert to other components, or else there will be a chemical reaction occurs. Uh, next is the low viscosity and the partial pressure. Uh, it is important for its inhaling and storage. So, we, um, so example high um, viscosity leads to the difficulty, especially during the pumping dispersion and also during the uh, mass transfer rates and many more you can provide any um, information about uh, why and the criteria of the solvent need to be set in order for us to choose uh, which solvent is suitable in each um, process okay so let us see the process flow diagram for liquid liquid extraction so as compared to your distractions we have only one feet and two exits so in your LAE so we have two feet from L0 feet of a mixture of A and B so we don't have C usually in here so another feed is we have the solvent which will enter uh, counter currently from your feet with solvent usually we have your C and if we have recycles of uh, solvent, there will be a little amounts of your A here. But uh, it's, um, usually we use the pure solvent, so you need to read the questions. Okay, so your extract here, which is we said that it is solvent rich. So all the components of ABC will be in the extract. Same goes to your refinate or component will be uh, here, but a component will be higher at extract as compared to your refinates. So how we calculate the percentage of a being removed or we say the efficiency of the remover? So inlet minus outlet divided by inlet times hundred percent. This is how. We know how much of it been removed. Okay, I think uh, that's all uh, for this topic. So we continue next.